Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Kevin Plays Lotro, War in Three Peaks. Uh, while we start, we're going to have a friendly little message about loot boxes. What are loot boxes? Well, this is a loot box right here. And loot boxes are evil. I was just having a discussion with this with a friend. And yep, loot boxes are evil. So this is a loot box in um, Lotro. And as you below uh let's see uh you know it, it, you can have gear that scales to your level as well as a selection of cosmetic items useful consumables and embers of enchantment so and the gear is pretty good i mean I, i've heard it's like raid level gear and all that stuff sometimes but it's you know it's it's basically your gambling uh um on what what type of gear it is so the reason you're gambling on what it is is because the only thing that opens this is a uh, uh, black steel key which is a, a very low drop rate here in Lotro or you could just buy it in the Lotro store for 195 Lotro points I believe is what it is and um, which basically you just pay money for it basically so if you want to spend the cash to open this box and get gear it's a you know it's a you know if you want to pay to win if you want to pay for good gear you have that option here in Lotro but for me I don't want it I'll just take the quest gear I'll grind for my stuff whatever and also they also have Hobbit gifts these used to, yeah Hobbit gifts right here now back when they started they used to be called Hobbit presents but I missed the memo when they switched it over to Hobbit gifts but I was looking this up also to get more information on it um, so uh, what this does is um, if if uh, you're a regular player you get a free Hobbit gift you get a free silver one uh, every day you have to log in to claim it otherwise you lose it um, also if you're a VIP if you have the subscription you get one gold one a week of course you have to log in to claim it or you lose it so and I've been doing this every day you know in my videos and so we got this we got three Dale man crams which is pretty good it's you know it's food basically right here and I have that slotted. I should have that slotted. I don't have it slotted. Well, golly gee. Oh, no. It's not there either. Oh, gee. I wonder if I could... <laughs> oh, here we go. We can slot it right here. No, I guess not. Come on, let's slot it. Okay, I guess not. Even... Oh, because I'm locked. Okay, I'll unlock it. So, and you got to be careful with these spins because here's another thing where you could pay money for. So, these are mithril coins right here. That little symbol right there is a mithril coin. You could spin again and get some more stuff for two mithril coins, which is basically the only way to get mithril coins is to uh, just buy them in the store, basically. So, and so you just gotta make and see it's really really small it says open silver for two well two white well that little teeny tiny symbol right there for the mithril coins anyway so let's open our gold and then if I want to spin again I can spend eight mithril coins so no thanks ooh and enhance XP supply anyway so I got that alright alrighty and let's do that and that's it all right so let's start war of the three peaks let's get them so what are we doing uh, in the epic we have to meet up with Slavly several trenches to the south during the war of three peaks we need to defeat the frost horde upon the battlefield and scout cat of star maybe we should scout cat of star where, where are we at here uh, okay that's Kavisar right I think that's what we'll do we gotta be careful of that guy though that's a war band Savile Bluff yeah we gotta be careful of that guy alright alright let's try that first do I have more quests probably no we're not gonna do the festival okay Strength and Fury. 
deliver five Wars. oh okay that's something else and oh my goodness let's see oh here we go war of three peaks oh yeah destroy supplies near Zudraman add to tracker we gotta do that too M oh that's right here okay no, that's strange arrivals. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's where we want to go. That's the closest thing. We'll do that. Let's do it! So it must be here. Wow. Alright. Let's get them. Come on, get him, get him before this guy comes. Ah, get them both. There we go. Oh, with that big boot. He got me with the big boot. Don't knock me back, don't knock me back. Come on, he knocked me back. There we go. All right. Well, it says I gotta go this way though. It says I gotta go this way. Why does it give me this here? That's weird. Oh, that's the zoot. That's enemy stores. Okay. All right. We'll see if we can find the enemy stores. All right. Oh, there's supplies right there. All right. Let's go this way first. Let's go this way. Yeah, take that. I just wasted a raging blades. There, take that. All right, so I need one more. Oh, there's one more supply right there. Yay! Finish. Yay! Is he, he's not a frost giant. Oh, we could take him on. Let's take him on. Come on! Hit him! Take him on if I could hit him. Oh, there we go again. There we go. We got him. We got him. Oh no, we don't want to go that way. All right, we gotta go back this way. Gotta go back this way. Maybe not this way. We, we. Ooh, scarn. We gotta get that scarn, and we gotta start tracking it. There we go. All right. All right. Where are we going? This way. Cavitsar, let's follow the road. Yes. Okay, this is my road, wargs. This is my road. Take that. That's right. Oh, I got a little boo boo. Come on, Florcita, walk it off. Come on, walk it off. There you go. Does the road? Yeah, the road goes right by there. All right, where's my goat? Let's get on my trusty goat. Let's go, goaty. Mr. Goat. Let's go, Mr. Goat. Yep. And wifey poo's talking on the phone to her to somebody. So, in the background. All right. All right, where are we supposed to go here? All right, well, maybe up here. 
next to this person. Okay, uh-oh. Uh-oh, you stupid goblin. There we go. Yes. Sneak up on that person right there. Alright, where am I supposed to scout? So, I uh, okay, we gotta go up a little bit more. As Agnar feared, a mighty force of dour hands now dwells among the such and such. Find Muda and Tar Agal, so we gotta go up here. Oh, what's this? Well, I can't do that. Oh, there's more quest rings over here. Oh, and there's a frostbound hobgoblin. Come on, get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Well, gee whiz, we'll just do that to everybody. Yeah, take that. Oh, you wacky dwarves. Evil dwarves. Look at these evil dwarves. Yes. Yes. Quest available. Let's get these dwarves. Evil dwarves. Dower hands. Oh my goodness, I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. Let's eat some food. Don't die on me, Floor. And the wife's calling me. Give me a second. Okay, well, I have to do something important, which is close the curtains. <laughs> the wife's like, shh, shh. All right, let's get into this building first. Maybe that'll give me time to close the curtains. Because, you know. We don't want anyone to watch my videos for uh, for free. All right, I'll be back. All right, there we go. Curtains are closed. Oh, and now I gotta top the parakeets. Put the blanket on the parakeets. Wow, gotta do the chores before I can play my game. That's all right. We'll let that person take all the glory. All right. Okay, now find Muda. Hey, you know where Muda is? Uh, guess not. Ha! Oh. oh, do I want a fellowship with this person? Sure, why not? Sure, let's fellowship. We'll share the quest. Well, that doesn't look good. All right, where's Muda? I wonder if Mood is at top. Oh, come on! Alright. Let's 
go upstairs. Mood is probably in the top. Grab these dour hands. I better eat some food. Um, Alright. What the heck? people over here. Come on, oops. Alright. Well, I don't know why you want to go downstairs. You want to go upstairs. Come on. Alright, gotta find Muda. Torturing Marion. Is this the top? Oh, that's weird. You know, he's probably around the other way. Let's see. Oh, I recall her. Da -da. Yeah, there's, I know there's another entrance outside in the higher mountain range, like, but, okay. So Chipotle sauce says let's go there, so we'll go there. Alright. Don't fall down. Don't fall down, Chipotle sauce. There we go. Go down this way. Oh, come on! Ah, 
Ah, crud. Alright. Where are we going? Ah. Alright. There we go. So, I think it's this way. What the heck? Alright. Go this way. Oh, what's going on? Oh, I think I hit that. That's why it's my auto, that stupid auto tracking. Oh, crap. Crap, it's that war band. Okay. I forgot. Remember I said there was that war band on that map? No, we're gonna die. Ah. Oh, we're gonna die. Oh, we got him. Holy crap. We got him. All right. So let's go out this way. Great. Fog. Fog. Maybe this way. Gotta be this way. This is weird. Inside. Yeah, I guess we can't go that way. So Alright, 
Try it again. We'll let the hunter uh, tank. Okay, I guess I'll tank. Alright. Just going upstairs. Again. Alright. Well, we'll see. Ah, come on. Come on, get him. All right. Let's go this way. What the heck am I stamping in? Alright. Come on. Come on! Uh oh. Oh, I'm lagging or something. Oh, come on, really? All right. Somewhere inside Torrego, the tower of the center, you have should now find a wooden tower. Neither ally with. Hmm. Still think it's around the other way. For some reason, we couldn't get there, though. Hmm. Oh, all right. Let's go back downstairs.
All right. Maybe this way. No, I guess not. Going upstairs. There she is hanging. Have your moment. Not really, everyone's attacking. I haven't expected to see you here. Did Agnar send you? You tell Muda of your efforts and the War of the Three Peaks and how you came to be at Kavitsar. I'm glad to hear the war goes well for the Gabalaka. However, there are these dour hands joining the fight on Gregor's behalf. It may not go out well for much longer. The dour hands have begun taking prisoners, and though they do not seem to be truly allied with Gogar, they have done much to hinder the Gabalaka. I have heard talk of a strange dwarf leading these dour hands, but I know little of their purpose elders. If you have come to aid me, let's discover the truth of it together. All right. Okay. Dorin's folk shall endure as we always have. All right. Need is dire. All right. All right. Okay, all I have to take a little break. Give me one second. Mic off.
Mic on. All right, wifey changed her mind. All right. Okay. So what we gotta do? Ah, she went upstairs. All right. There's another one here. I'm not going to read all the quest text. Come on. There we go. Darn it! Come on! Darn it! guys. I guess there's other people in here. Come on.
Oh, I think it was. Okay, I think I know. Come on, come on, come on! Someone's just standing there. Ah, oh, darn it. And there's a guy over here. Where's she at? Come on. Gosh darn it. Come on. There we go. One more dwarf. I. We are dwarves. Name brother and say da 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 da. I'll read this later. Okay, finish now. Okay. I just asked her if I may upload the uh, video on the U on my YouTube channel. Uh. Hey, can you hear me? Okay. No, I guess not. Darn it. 
Okay. Hey, can you, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can. I have an eye to talk very soon. I know they were all up here because I found them all. So I'm not sure where you might have missed them. Okay. Hey, I have a YouTube channel. So is it okay I upload this video to my YouTube channel? Cool. You need a bus trying to find it. What's that? Didn't quite hear her. Oh. I I typed the YouTube channel in the uh, in the in the chat box. It's called Kevin two zero nine nine IFY. Oh, well, it's Lotro. Uh, Lotro, War of the Three Peaks, I believe this is part 11. Um, it might be probably in a couple weeks. Yeah, um, I, I usually upload on Thursdays. Cool, I appreciate it. I do have to get, get going for my brain, It's okay. I think I could find that last dwarf on my own. I appreciate the help. There's a, yeah, it's a non-fun area. <laughs> Especially for the future. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, it's definitely not a fun area. Okay. Well, it's nice meeting you. Thank you again for the help. Oh. Let's see. I'll add her as a friend if I can. Oh, wait a minute. She just logged off. Friend. Add to friends list. All right. There we go. All righty. So we made a friend, yay! Let's see if we can find this last dwarf. All right, and that little siege engine engineer. All right, let's go over here. Come on. There we go. All right, take that. Now. Yeah, servants of war. Yeah, there's where's that one? Oh, there's he right here? No, that's a tortured one. Okay. Hold on. Down. Yeah, that's down too, ain't it? Yep. Okay. He's not uh, up here. So we'll go back this way. Before these guys respawn. We. There he is. 
on the other side. See if I can. Oh, well, let's aggro him. Aggro them all. There we go. Come on, Shing Shing. There we go. Oh, darn. Darn, I'm going to die. Come on. This is what happens when I aggro them all. Ah, where are they? Get them. Don't die on me, Florcita. All right. All right. There we go. All right. So now we got to talk to Muda. Okay. All right, let's go this way. And she's hiding by one of the stairs. All right. All right. Not there. Ah. Come on. Come on, darn it. All right. Let's go around. There's Muda. All right. Let him walk up the stairs. Heal myself. You honor me. In the mind of the stout, there is no fate that worse than prison when our business... Okay. Let's leave this wickedness behind. Yes. Hey. You have been great help, but our task is not yet finished. Whether or not he means to aid Gorgar in the war... Brother poses a grave threat to the Giblaka. He must be slain or driven from Elder Slate before his dower ends can cause any more trouble. All right. Our need oh. is dire. Brother is here, Florcita. I am sure of it. Before you arrived, I discovered a passage that I believe might lead to the upper changers of Tour Algo. We that's what I was trying to look for before. If Brother had already left Torigal, I don't think his dour hands would be keeping such a close watch on Cabot Sar. Whatever his plans, he must be overseeing them in the highest spire of Tor Agol, and it is there we must go. It pains me to admit it, but the time for sneaking ah, is over. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, I will accept it. Yes, but this overseer is not going to let me read finish the quest text. How dare you? All right. There we go. Let us see what this is all about, Florcita. All right. So now I know what key I bound to my microphone. I forgot that earlier. It has spread that a mysterious enemy has arrived at Kaivatsar, threatening to turn the tide of the War of Three Peaks. All right, Muda. Let's get moving. I know the way, Florcita. If we become separated, I do not think things will go well for either of us. Follow me as closely as you can and do not lose sight of me. Let's listen to Muda. Ever since you free the Longbeers, they have been on edge. They'll be waiting for us this time, but we've got to reach the top of this tower. And my loot bag is full. Come on, Florcita. Let's go!
Come on. No time to waste. We must press on. You know, it would have been nice if Muda helped us earlier. But, you know. Darn it. Door looks the like the blasted same. Sure it does, doesn't it? Try a fear pot. Uh oh. There we go. Just over there. Oh yeah, with all those overseers there, huh? Go get them, Muda. Uh, come on. Yes, after reaching the door, Muda pauses and beckons to you. Let's get moving. Yes, this is it. It is exactly as I remember. The stairs to the upper chamber lie just beyond these doors, Florcita. Let us stand. Let us find Brother and put an end to this, my friend, for the Gibalaka. Follow Muda to the upper chamber. Follow me and stay quiet. We do not know what awaits us above. Wow. Well. Oh, can't do anything. Can't do much of anything. Well, there's the evil dower hand. Kind of looks a little bit like Scorgrim. Ah. I can't just trace. Oh, what's he doing? Brandreth of Adderfang. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Oh. Let's get to the fighting. Observe the meeting between Brather and the Iron Crown. Oh, I don't like this at all. Muda's voice sinks to a whisper. There are too many of them to make our move, Florcita. If we keep quiet and remain unseen, we may at least overhear something of value to the Gabalaka. Find some way to blend into this gathering, and I will do the same. What? Stay in the shadows and keep your head down. What? I'll try and get a better look. Okay. I wish I could sneak like that. Centers among the hill folk have grown more bold. I'll let you guys read it, I think. I'll stick to the shadows.
prisons do not go unnoticed by Brather. Oh. Come join us. That soul man, so he was talking to me. He saw me. Alright. Well, there's Mr. Adderfang from Angmar. And there's Mr. Dowerhand. Have the Longbeards grown so cowardly that they send mercenaries like you? Disappointing, but I'm not surprised. Let me have a look at you, man. As Brather Crackhelm inspects you, his eyes suddenly betray some sort of cruel amusement. Ah, Florcita, what a curious twist of fate. Yes, I know your name, but how could you know mine? I am just a dour hand, after all. I was at Gibbelazan. I saw what the Longbeards did to Scorgrim, what they did to every one of us dower hands. That old coward Glowin would not deign to sully his hands with the blood of my brethren, and so he sent you and his own son to do what he, uh, what he could not, and I shall have my vengeance yet. But that is not your fate, Florcita. Your blood is not fit to adorn the hammer of Scorgrim Dowerhand. Observe Brather's departure from Tour Egal. It is time I return to Carbronic, my friends. Aha. Uh -huh. Do what you wish with that one, Adderfang. Farewell, Florcita. Leave us, servants. Aha. Uh -huh. I guess that leaves us. Right, let's see if you were deserving of mercy, eh? The, okay, so what does that say? As the last of the other Angmarium leave the chamber, Bandreth Adderfang smirks at you. Dost thou not seest? Ah, some old English there. All has come to pass as I foretold. When first I met thee, I was fated to fail. But the mercy of Lord Brathar has granted me mine vengeance upon thee. Thy fate is sealed. Defeat Bradreth Adderfang. Oh man, he's like a million. Man! And what happened to my little skill there? Jeez. Or maybe I ate it all or something. Alright, we'll try it. We will try. We'll do that. Ah. Uh-oh. Seriously? What, what the heck? Oh my god. Oh no. Yay! But thy fate was... Ooh, and I completed my Slayer of Angmarium. Man, look at that. Uh, not stand... Okay, I better click on him before the... Come on, I better click on him. Yes. Before the fire gets me. Come on. Travel now. There we go. There we go. All right. Ooh, no more fire. Fire is bad. Yes. I think we're out of sight. 
Although Brathar escaped, at least Bradworth, Adderfang, and his servants will no longer trouble the Gibalaka. Whatever business Brathar had at Kavitsar appears to be finished, so he and his followers must now return to Kar Bronick. Unfortunately, I know no place in our maps by that name. I shall return to Zarkulsulin and bring word to Prince Durin at once. Perhaps he and Commander Glowin can make some sense of this. You have my flanks. Thanks, Florisita. Yay! Look at all that stuff. And... Okay. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, you wacky gun to bath soldier. Alright. Alrighty. So we help Muda out. Quest. Okay. Ultra points, yay. Title Veteran of the War of Three Peaks. Okay. Defeat Frost Hordes, who I only need three more Frost Hordes. And we know they're up there. Alright. Man, and look at all this stuff. What's all this stuff I have? How's my bags? What is that? Oh, I got two of these now. Agility. I don't need agility. I'm going to toss that. Sorry. I don't need agility. Probably could have put them in the uh, auction house or give them to somebody, but oh well. Destroy. Destroy. See, look at this. All this garbage I don't need. Look at that. I'm not collecting. And look, only like what? Two skins? Come on. Destroy. Destroy. Loot boxes are evil. Destroy. Oh, I can sell that for a pretty penny. Evil. Don't need that. Don't need that. I don't need that. Uh, I don't want that. Man, look at all those steel loot boxes. Oh, that's pretty good. I'll take those. All right. What's this? Drain hole. Cavitsar. supposed to go there I think right drag holes this way see if that's still a goblin uh, not goblin a dwarf uh, hideout Guess so. All right, come on. Yes. All right. We are dwarves and the folk of Durin. Yes. All right. Sell. Sell these crack lances. Oh, more crack lances.
Cracked lances. Gemstones. Crack lances. Man, I'm just raking in the money. Alright. Man, I need a smoke after that. There we go. Look at that guy. Anyway. All right. Much better. All right. Where are we going? Let's Let's do the frost horde. Hold on a second. Let's see what's in our quest log. Okay, final. Okay, I'm almost done. Tam strength and fury and tamers. Where do I pick up those quests? on the tracker already. There they are. Before we do that, we're going to defeat that frost, those frost hordes. Just going to follow the road. Get on the goat. Do they count? No. There's that, uh, okay. Go around. Shoot. Get this, these guys. Thirteen. Fourteen. Yay! Finish now. Yay! All right. Oh, and we can't go up that way. No matter how hard we tried, look how close that uh, war band was on us, or roving threat, or whatever you want to call it. All right. Let's find these guys.
Come on. Small fellow shift. Perhaps old wounds might be healed in battle. You know, maybe I should just try doing the epic quest. I think I'll do that. Because now it's getting a little... I don't know. Tedious and a little bit harder. Let's see. Come on! I again? This is just the same old thing again. gonna do this. He's way back here. Okay. Where am I at? The road's that way. Let's go back towards the road. I can't uh, get on my little goat. I can't get on my little goat. Why can't I get on my little goat? Man! There I go. Alright. Let's go back to the epic. How long have I been playing? Oh, a little over an hour. Well, you know what? It's been a while since I played, even though I've been uploading on a weekly basis. Had a lot going on been working overtime um, we're actually remodeling the house and uh, had to disconnect the computer <coughs> excuse me had to disconnect the computer are those two guys no I thought they were fighting each other <coughs> anyway I had to disconnect the computer and then we had a uh, delay in the remodeling so I'm temporarily uh, um, have the computer. Oh, where am I going? See, I can't talk and play at the same time. So I I have three signatures right there, blocking my way. Anyway. Anyway, okay, so now I have my computer on top of a card table. And so anyway, and it's only a temporary uh, um, thingamabobber. Only a temporary connection. So we'll see how this goes. Alright, I think I have to go this way. Alright. Oh, he's up this way. I missed him. Alright. 
All right, where's he at? There he is. Oh, the poison! So I guess he's down this way? Oh yeah, right here. Okay. All right. Where is he at? Oh, that wacky, cold whelping. Take that. All right, there's Slobby. I hear you rightly. That trap was not set by the orcs, but by Emak the Stout Axe. Is this true? Is he a fool, or has he been stricken with some madness? We have difficulty enough fighting the orcs without having to worry about running a foul of traps set by our supposed allies. I cannot believe this. A pox on the stout axes. You must make this right. Find Emak and ask why he has chosen to fight dwarves and not orcs. Does he not have enough enemies from which to choose that he must attack his supposed allies too? Okay. So now let's find him. Which quest tracker says go this way. Alrighty. Alright. Ah, uh, come on. Oh. Run, run, run. How far do I have to go? Oh, he's just right there. So he's up this way. Is he inside? I thought it said he was outside. Well, I got a task board here. So let's turn some tasks. Oh, we got black and claws, scales. We got some scales. We only got 15 of them. You know, everything in our uh, loot box when it was full, nothing but riddled with uh, loot boxes and whatnot. And I only had f uh, 15 onyx scales. Beasts and tuft ears. Yeah, of course, I don't have any of those. And with all those uh, weplings I killed, no beaks. Okay. Don't even know if they have beaks, but oh well. Alright, so I guess the guy is inside, but I said he was outside. Outside. Well, oh, says it's inside, so let's go inside. Oh, that's just uh, going back here. Okay, never mind. So, Mac is not here. All right. Oh, there he is, with the uh, stout axe worm. Yes. No, no, 
Bah, these long beards could save their breath. They will not cease hurling insults and threats at me, but I have weathered worse winds than these. What is the Grey Mall Rebellion to me? They think I care about the stories of ancient dwarves? Bah, they are nothing to me. They think I was wrong to set traps for the orcs? Oh, Lord. My dog's barking at the TV. Anyway. If these long beards paid more attention to their surroundings, they would not blunder into one of my devices. You would not think they wanted to reclaim Gundabed at all, so unwilling are they to dirty their hands. Well, they will be happy to know this. I did not have time to put the rest of my plan into motion before the defenders emerged from Gundabad and marched on our position. I lacked the time to set the goblin bobs you collected, so I stored them in a crate inside Zarkul Sulan. It is a shame, for those explosives could have claimed the lives of many orcs if I had placed them as I wanted. Collect and defuse the goblin bombs from the crate where Imlac stored them inside Zarkusulan. Okay. So now we go inside. Hey, and there's Muda. Alright. Crate is empty. The goblin bombs are gone. Are you looking for something? I heard the battle might be turned turning against us, but as long as you are still fighting, I think victory must still be within reach. You tell Afwald that you are looking for a number of items that Imlac stored in this crate. He nods. Ah, the goblin bombs. I did wonder why they were being saved. I went came by and gathered them up. He seemed very excited about them now that I think about it. Afwin sees so something in your expression. Is that a problem? He asks. He does like setting things aflame, doesn't he? <laughs> as long as he is careful and vigilant, perhaps he will make good use of those goblin bombs against our foes. It may be a good idea for you to find him and ensure he is using caution for Sita. He mentioned something about the Angmerium Tower of Cavets. Oh, Lord, again. You should begin your search over there. Talk to Iwin near the Angmerium. Okay. Alright. Going back to Cavets. Yep. This is what happens when I don't do the epic quest along with the others. Or vice versa. All right. Da, 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 da. Let's go. Wow, I'm just like, like uh, sliding along. All right. Oh boy. Dead orcs everywhere. I wonder if I'm going the right way. Nope. Oh, I follow the road. Follow the road. a uh, quest ring here. Oh, maybe he's here.
Oh, there's this mount. Oh, that's weird. Oh, wait. That's over here. Huh, that's weird. Okay. Let's go back up. Let's see what's going on over here. Nothing here. Oh, maybe complete tasks. I don't know. Remove that. Oh, well, we'll see. Ah, crud. Crud, come on. Seriously, Forcita, you're gonna let this little goblin sapper kill ya? While that long beard just watches? Alright. Yeah. There he is. Yes, my friend, yes. This war will soon be ended. And Durin will have his victory, sure. I have set a number of goblin bombs on the path to the northeast and in mere moments. Yep, of course. While I'm reading quest at blah 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 blah, convinced doors to evacuate the northeastern road. Alright. Should have gone first. All right, what happened here? How close will the fires be to our fighting dwarves? Hmm, good question. Perhaps good you should question. tell them and back up, uh, back to back up a bit. All right. Where are they at? All over here. Oh, just on the road. <laughs> Tapping his foot. That's just silly.
Cool. Did you see that? What a beautiful sight. It serves those goblins right for trying to use such weapons against us. How do you think they like the power of the devices they fashion? But there were not as many explosions as there should have been, friend. Do you think it is possible some goblin sneaks managed to retrieve some of the bombs I said and think now to use them against us? There are three goblin bombs for which I cannot account for, see, to steal back the bombs they stole from us. Yes, the ones we stole from them first. Uh, I recovered twice stolen goblin bombs from goblin sneaks. Oh, Lord. Okay. And that could be anywhere. Well, somewhere in this area. Wonderful. Oh, okay, quest tra Oh, there it is. There's a goblin sneak. They're not invisible. Yay! Here's one. Here's two. And here's three. Yay! What? Seriously? Get him. Get him, floor. Shoot him. Yay. This guy were wet with lake water, but he placed his bomb already. What? Fine. Quench. Okay. Oh, we gotta go by the lake. Alright. Be careful. Uh oh. There's that Commander Hasha thingy, Mama Bobber. Come on. Seriously? You want to mess with me? There we go. All right. There 
There we go. So he's a, where is he? Oh, it was that one that, okay. It was that one we found, I think. It's in here. We gotta quench it. I wonder if we have to take it somewhere before we blow up. Oh, there it is. Nope. Oh, little wonder. I thought he was a bad guy. All right. And I one was like, you quenched the last goblin bomb. Good. It is a pity we were not able to turn it against his creators, but at least we made effective use of the others. Return to Doran inside Zarkul Sulon and learn what is to be our next plan of attack. The fighting turns once again to our for favor. All right. Gunda bad spy. All right. Well, I'm already dismounted, huh? All right, Durin. Sure. We were pushed back on our heels for a seat, but we did not give up hope. And now we are rewarded. The tide of battle has once again turned in our favor. Victory is at hand. Alright, where are these? Necklace, huh? Yeah. Might, vitality, finesse. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that one. One obstacle remains. One obstacle remains on the threshold. My friend, we must do something about Gorgor the Ruthless, the orc who rules Gundabad. His orcs will defend the mountain home from us for as long as he lives. But if I can put an end to him, they will scatter. They will learn firsthand that only a dwarf can lay claim to the title Lord of Gundabad. Blow the signal horns to rally doors to my banner outside Zarkul Sulon in the field of battle and at our forward encampment near to the mountain home. I will lead my warriors up the steps on this last offensive and on the very threshold of the fortress I will challenge Gorgor for the rule of Gundabad. Alright. Let's do it. We will blow the horn. Let's rally the troops. Wherever it is, is it right here? Did I pass it? No. There's a signal horn right there. Yay! One of the trenches, trenches. All right. Let's rally.
Uh, I'm going the wrong way, of course. So here's the trench right here. Oh, you're scarred! Okay, I think it's inside. It's gotta be inside. There it is. <laughs> and in the hidden cave. So we will go there. Come on, don't get stuck. There we go. Careful of that commander. Right here. <laughs> Only one org. There you go. Oh, a couple black arrows. That was pretty weak. Oh, dang hole. Wrong one. Wrong one. Gotta go to dang hole. Yep. All is well, and yet not all. All right. The door shushes, shush you before you can blow the horn. Um, it is probably just as well. Forge and Relic Master says this is a secret hideout, friend. Shh! Better not blow any horns here. Nay, the slakeless. Oops. Broin. 
We are right on the threshold of victory. I am. My heart is heavy. Oh, I am sorry, Floricita. And of course, he said that. But my heart is heavy. You ask Broin what you can do to lighten his burden, and he frowns. There is nothing, my friend. These worries are my own. And he trails away, engaged in some internal debate. At last, he nods decisively. You have always stood by me and my kin, Floricita. No matter the mistakes we have made, I will forget neither that loyalty nor these kindness. Neither will I keep those troubles from you, though I am shamed by them. This, then, is my confession. Fr friend, excuse me. I fear my decision to seal away the mithril axe may have cost my father his life. Would Broger still live today if we had wielded Zigaberk in defense of the Iron Garrison? When the Horde emerged from the Deaths of Moria, could I have repelled them if I still possess the truest reflection of Durin's own acts in this age of the world? I chose to seal Zigaberk away because I thought it was cursed. But can you truly say that the Iron Garrison's fate in Moria could have been worse than it was? I find that hard to believe. How many lives might I have saved if I kept Ziegelberg, Floricita? How many lives in Moria and how many lives here on the slopes of on the steps of Gundabad? You speak what reassuring words you can and Broin thinks thanks you for them. But you can tell his heart remains heavy. Tell my cousin Bori I am well or well enough. <laughs> Excuse me. He does worry. So talk to Bori outside Zerpu Sulan during the War of Three Peaks. So do I have to go south again? I think so. Alright. Yep, way back there. And there's no horsey. There's no horsey here. Alright, so we gotta go the long way. A slow travel. I think I went the wrong way. This is, I made a wrong tour, turn. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Lorisita, where did you go? Just trying to find the quest ring. Just following the quest, the little quest ring arrow on the map. Just trying to go in a straight line. Uh-oh.
Seriously? Did you hear the signal horns? Dorian prepares to lead an assault upon the threshold of the mountain home where he will strike down Gorgar the Ruthless and become the Lord of Gundabad. If you wish to participate in the raid, this is when Amdan Damel, the Bloody Threshold, takes place during the story. Okay. Let us follow after Durin. Let us follow after Durin, my friend. We will land, lend what aid we can, and be among the first to venture within the mountain home in victory. I have an idea. Let us take another path to the steps of Gundabad. And that way we will obtain the element of surprise and may be of greater help to the prince and to his warriors. Talk to Bori outside. Okay. And go with him to confront the lord of Gundabad. Okay. Dismount. <laughs> Quickly. We must follow Durin and his warriors. Thalfi told me of a path near dune track that will allow us to gain access to the threshold of Gundabad from the other side. Okay, this is exciting. I hear fighting just ahead. Let us press on. All right. We'll have to fight our way up the slope and to the threshold of Gundabad if we do not wish to miss Prince Durin's victory. Let's go. This way there's little time to lose. Yes. The footing is treacherous up ahead. Use caution. Uh oh, those wacky Angmarian cultists. Enter the arena. Halt the street! Get inside the mountain! This isn't over, Gorgar! Oh, be all right about that, little princeling. Scatter, Furman! Ooh, look at that. There, I did it. <laughs> no, we were so close. Our prize slips from our grasp once more. All is not lost, my prince. You are right, Commander. All is not lost. It will take time to regroup, tend to the wounded, and break through this cursed ice. But the day is won. 
Gundaman will be ours! What cruel chance has brought Freemil Frostheart here to rob us of our triumph? How come she... How came she to escape her icy prison? This is not a defeat. We will not stray from our course. We will regroup and mount one last offensive and no orc or dragon will stand before the might of my armies. I am descended from the line of Durin and I will prove the glory of my name and the rightness of my cause. Rally my forces when all is ready. We will storm the gates and Gundabad will once again be ours at last. The story continues in the Gundabad expansion. And we got a class trait point. Yay. All right. So I think I'm going to call it a night. Of course, we will finish up next time. We'll finish up uh, whatever quest we can. You know, probably not do these little fellowship ones because it might be a little too much for us. That's the raid right there. But, you know, we'll see what we can do. And next time. And... Yeah, I gotta find these. Strength and Ben Tamers of. Uh, yeah, I don't have those. I don't know where those are at. I have to find those. But anyway, so we'll finish up um, there. We finished the epic quest line. So uh, we are good. Then we also have missions to do. I have not done any of the missions, which in the storyline takes place before before the war here. And so we're going to call it quits by for tonight. And that's all because I played already for a couple hours. So alright. Uh, if you like the video, like it. Subscribe to the channel. And, don't, and hit that bell notification. Thank you all for watching. Take care and good night. Bye.